Check. Phil pairs his nine. He checked in the dark here. One over card to Oberstad's jacks, but she doesn't want to check and cede control of the pot here. She bets 2,500. Helmuth has a pretty strong hand. Just going to call, though, because you hate to check raise and get three bet. Then you got to release. And Ned adds an open-ended straight draw. Not a bad turn card for her. Check, check. That's a pretty conservative check in position with second pair to the board and an open ender. And she improves to the straight on the river. 11. Phil bets 1,100. Super small defensive bet from Phil Helmuth here. I'm all in. Annette puts Phil all in. She's not worried about a club draw. Wow, wow. I'm not, decide, I'm not saying what I'm going to do. My heart says I'm supposed to uh, ship it in there is what my heart says. I mean, you already hit a two-outer on me. What would you hit this time, runner, runner, or some BS? I know that you think that's a weak bet, so I played this hand to trap you from the start. What would you do? You just got lucky again? I'm mean, just so sick. You're just lucky that the board comes where you can even make a bluff? I mean, wh what is this? You're so lucky this hand one way or the other. Either to be able to make a bluff or to have hit some weird thing. Makes me sick. Wow, you've seen the sick calls that I make. You know I can't be bluffing. All Phil has is a pair of nines here, but the deliberation is the product of a few things. Annette's aggressive reputation, the fact that she checked the turn, and the fact that she's an aggressive and talented enough player to pull off a bluff wow. when the opportunity presents itself. And here we are with the board texture that's showing a four card straight and a flush. What do you have, like ace seven? I, I can't even, it's hard for me to imagine a hand I could beat. You might have like five, six or some crazy thing. Man, my heart is telling me that I'm supposed to put the money in. But my mind can't imagine what I can beat. You don't have anything to say? Annette must have the chat off. I can't beat anything but a pure, pure, pure bluff. It's so sick that they found the running 10 8 for you. Can I get a clock, please? Ooh, how about that? Read between the lines, clock Annette says. On the feature table. Shut up and make your move. Clock requested on the feature table. Annette requesting a clock. Our tournament director will head over to the table. Gonna have 30 seconds and then a 10 second countdown. 30 seconds or a minute? 30 seconds and then 10 second countdown. Phil's gonna have to make up his mind rather quickly here. Calling a clock can sometimes raise your opponent's suspicions too. Might look more like a bluff. <laughs> Gus Hansen coming in, <laughs> wanting to see what all the fuss is about. Wow. It was one heck of a bluff, Annette. One heck of a bluff if you're bluffing. I just can't imagine. I mean, my heart says to call you, but... I just can't seem to fold. I just can't seem to... just can't seem to fold. Ten seconds. I call. Oh, Phil follows wow. his heart, but he should have listened to his brain. He is eliminated. And Oberstad is moving on. Nice. Looks like Phil's heart just sent his mind and his body out the door. Go ahead. Good game. Thank you. What happened there? Annette administers a card playing and psychological clinic. I don't want to take anything away from Annette Oberstad, but this is a case of Phil Helmuth busting himself. He did not have to go broke here. Really overthought things and talked himself into a horrible call. Hansen can't even believe it. He's got to come over and check it out twice. The whole poker room watching and waiting on one of the outer tables. We go back to Jennifer Harmon. 
hoping to stay Jane alive Jennifer. again versus Jane Jerry Jennifer. Yang, but the cards not in her favor to start. Here's the hoping flop. is the key word here. She's crushed heading to the flop. King Trey nine, seven king, flop. neither Ten player connects. Leads. Jerry still leads. Complete lack of assistance Here's for queen turn. eight off suit on that flop. No eight on the and turn, she's jack. down to one pull. Ten is still good. Needs a snowman to avoid the Here's exit. The and Yang is pairs his 10 to finish off Jerry Harmon. And Jerry nice. Yang is in the money round. His first trip to the round of 16 comes courtesy of the upset. Let's send it to Leanne at the featured table. Phil, what were you thinking about? Well, I mean, she, she, she raised, she, I mean, she's, she's raising every, she's raising like every button, every time she raised the button, she fought it with a continuation bet every time. Her range is just so wide open there when it comes queen nine. And she happens to have jacks, so I mean, you know, um, she she played well. I mean, I, I didn't see she played well, and uh, and she's a very tough opponent. When she and, called the um, clock on you, did that help you make a decision to call? No, I couldn't. The mathematical play there was to fold, but I thought I thought I had a read, and um, and so far this year my reads haven't been what I wanted them to be. Right. And I kept factoring that in too. But it's like I just couldn't let go of the hand, you know what I mean? Right. And I know that, and I've seen, you know, I've seen a lot of the internet kids, when you make the little, the little bet on the river, right. they, 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 they make big raises weak, because right. they think you're weak. And, um, I mean, I was weak on that board, but, well, I mean, she played well. She made basically zero mistakes. I'd, I'd, I'd like to play again. Um, another 10 or 15 oh. times. And, but, maybe, maybe after this interview, you guys can go play. Annette, what was your strategy against Phil? I had no plan when I was going into the match. I didn't know what to expect because I've heard different things from different people about how he's changed his game lately. And, you know, I, I was just blank. I didn't know what to do. So, Did just, you change your game at all? Uh, I, I played a little bit tighter than I probably would have otherwise, right. but I, I was still playing my game and, you know, I was doing my thing. So, no, not really. All right, well, you're moving on to the next round. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Phil Helmy is going to have some company a moment as we move to table six where Darvin Moon is about to get the bad news that he will be eliminated by Annie Duke. Let's take a look. Three on the river issuing Darvin's pink slip. Move on. Next round. Annie had a pretty good run on the Celebrity Apprentice and now she continues her best run here at the National Heads Up Poker Championship. She only won once in the first five years and now she's in the round of 16. Starting to catch some breaks. Meanwhile, Phil Helmuth staring at the board in disbelief. Phil might need to turn to a therapist to handle this one. But partner, you and I, we'll just turn to Daniel Powder. You kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. the Caesars Palace tournament room, which has exploded with action in the hearts and diamonds bracket. Don Cheadle fell to poker legend Doyle Brunson. Dennis Phillips defeated Chris Ferguson. Jerry Yang busted Jennifer Harmon. Annie Duke beat Darwin Moon. And the 21-year-old Norwegian phenom Annette Oberstad just got Phil Helmuth to call off his stack for the pair of nines on the river. There's a new match at table four, and it's Paul Wasica with the chip lead over Gus Hansen. And at our feature table, Barry Greenstein ahead of Sammy Farha. Greenstein on the left, and he's up almost 10,000 in chips. Blinds are at 6 and 1,200. Our GoDaddy.com pocket cam shows us Sammy's pocket trays. Greenstein with ace nine suited, raises to 4,200. Typically, Sammy.